Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. Get ready for some thrilling end-to-end -end action as the best first and second year players in the NBA do battle on the hardwood. Alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Yeah, and Kevin, you talked about some thrills being in store for us tonight. These young guys are all capable of making a spectacular play at any given time. And I, I got a feeling we'll see plenty of them here tonight. Absolutely. Well, without question, I mean, if this game has taught us anything over the last few years, over the years in general, it's there isn't a highlight reel big enough to capture all of the incredible high-flying action. And now the opening lineup for Team World. Alperin Shangoon out there with Wagner. Then it's Josh Giddy, And it's Duarte in at the three. Now here's Walker. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And finished off by Bancaro. Nice work by Bancaro. Making himself available for the alley-oop pass. He, he's developing great court awareness. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. Wagner kicks to Daniels. Just five to shoot. Giddy with the screen on Walker. Daniels. Right side to Walker. Another three for you. Say, this really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Back to Wagner. Good ball movement here by Team World. 13 feet away. Here's the three. It's hauled in by USA. And now USA on the break. From D, Walker, a three for USA. And you know, he's kind of come out of the blue this season. Nobody expected to see him playing such a high level. Almost as though his game developed overnight. I mean, he might have been flying under the radar coming into the season, but that's no longer the case. And the ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Mobley. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Walked again. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. And that's getting it done from deep. That's what the All-Star Game gives you, the freedom to show your full range. You know, taking that shot in a regular season game might get you a spot on the bench, but here it gets you a standing O. And Walker throws it down hard. You know, we always get some great dunks in this game, and I think we can add that to the list. Check out the reaction. Listen to that. I mean, that slam was a raise the roofer. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. You brought the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Daniels with it, now defended by Cunningham. And that one's good, Wagner. Textbook play inside. Wagner doing everything right in that case. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. An all-star week is one great show after another. Giddy the pass to Shengu. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. He has to finish it. Now the pass to Cunningham. 
from outside off the mark. Team World trails by nine. And here's Daniels. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Duarte. That one misses. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And Walker kicks to Mobley. They get it back. And Carroll lets it go with a three. And it's Walker that time on the assist from Van Carroll. Now that's 17 points for Walker. And now the first time out called here for Team World. You got to like what the kid has done in this game. Just killing it from deep. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch. And you're just asking for him to drop another triple on you. Team World making some changes. Watford's checked in. And Kaminga subbed in for Wagner. Now, here's Kaminga. Here's Watford. Giddy with it. Down to five on the shot clock. He gets that one. Giddy's got five points so far. You know, I'm in it in the regular season. Well, in his short time in the league, Greg, he's earned the full confidence of the coaching staff. They're not afraid to use him in any situation. Here's Walker. Following the bucket by Team World. USA needs to get off a shot. No problems knocking that one down. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Here's Duarte. Here now, Vildoza. Good ball movement here by Team World. Kaminga sets a screen for Giddy. Over Bang Carroll. It's hauled in by USA. Now Walker, 17 points in the game. They double-team Walker, and a wide-open look for Cunningham. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got four assists in the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Giddy to answer back, but that three is off the mark. USA leading by 16. Right side to Walker. A nice shot by Mobley. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this team. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Here's Kaminga after the made shot from Evan Mobley. And here is Kaminga. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Paolo Bancaro. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for USA. You know, right from the start, it's saying they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And I on the fouls in terms of what has been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. They got Scotty Barnes. Smith is out there with Mobley. Then it's the kid, and it's Highland in at the point guard position. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. And for Team World, Wagner is out there with Yurtsevin. And it's Daniels in at the point. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. For USA, they've had two chances at the line already, making them both. Shooting for your USA. Walker. Two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And 
and so Walker nails both of them. Here is Daniels. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. From the high post, Evan Mobley with the rebound. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Pass to Daniels. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Will it go? And it's good on the layup. And for a guy who hasn't been able to get a ton of minutes this season, great that he's had a chance to show off his skill set here tonight. And he does have some skills to show off. I mean, his opportunity for more playing time is going to come soon enough. He just has to stay patient. They have a very long way to get within sight. And from what we've seen so far, guys, don't hold your breath. Giddy gets to Shangoon. Back to Giddy. Releases. Oh, deflected by Mobley. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Now, here's Walker. He's covered by Daniel. That's a two from Cunningham. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got his seventh assist here tonight. On offense, here's Team World, and the kid picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Team foul. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Walker on the wing. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Wagner able to get the shot to go through contact. And the end one on tap. Great determination that time. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. That's good from Wagner. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Up top, Walker. He's covered by Daniels. And finished off by Bancaro. Oh, love that. Bancaro moves so well with and without the ball. And it's Team World with the ball. And Team World calls Team time World here. Calls time. You gotta like what the kid has done in this game. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Here is Daniels. Wagner outside. Shot clock at six. Passes to Giddy. With the block. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now, here's Wagner. He has five. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Pass to Giddy. There's a screen. Team World needs to get off a shot. Shingun with the bucket. How about the big fella stepping outside and showing us some rain? Boy, he gets some grief for that shot in the regular game, but in this setting, you're allowed that kind of latitude and freedom. That one drops for him. Barnes has got his second basket of the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Walker looking for an opening. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. 
four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here is Daniels, guarded by Walker. Daniels passes to Wagner. And Team World, another three. Wagner always a threat from downtown. And I love the efficiency and solid mechanics of his shooting stroke. From deep, Walker, another three for USA. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Here is Daniels, guarded by Walker. Here's Duarte. And the pass to Wagner. That one goes. Count it. And that's now 10 points for Franz Wagner. A really strong second quarter in terms of scoring the basketball. Cunningham outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Well, I think as is always the case, the story of the game tonight won't have a lot to do with defense. That's the way it always is. I mean, a half-court alley-oop or a spectacular behind-the-back pass, that's exactly what the people want to see in this game. A platoon swap here for Team World. Substitution on the court. with it. They've got Mobley. Bancaro out there with Scotty Barnes. Then it's the kid and it's Cunningham in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for J.B. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Boy, Wagner's mid-range stroke looks nice. Really fluid. Shot mechanics, perfect. From deep, Walker. Another three for USA. He's found his rhythm from deep and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Wagner kicks to Daniels. Giddy. Five to shoot. The screen on Cunningham. And, yes, it's good. Giddy's got seven points. Well, there, not nothing from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. There's Walker with the three. Gets it to go from B. A dozen straight points coming off the triple. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Here's Duarte. Back to Daniels. There's the three. And Carroll grabs the board. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And the shot is good. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Wagner's gone 75% from the field. Six baskets and eight attempts. There's Walker with the three. Another three for USA. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And that one's good, Wagner. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. From deep, Walker. And the three ball is good. Walker's got 44. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Giddy against Cunningham. Giddy the pass to Shangu. From about 19 feet. And it's Wagner missing. Now USA with it. They're on a 14-6 run. Shots good by Walker. 
It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Good ball movement here by Team World. Passes it to Daniels. Now here's Giddy. Here's Duarte. Nice shot from the wing. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Outside, Walker. A three ball. They're good. And Team World will come the other way. And the kid picked. That's foul number two for him. And Team World First making a change foul. here. Watford's checked Into in. The lineup for Team World. Trended Watford. Now Daniels. And Barnes sends it back. Right side to Walker. There's the triple. That's good from Barnes on the assist by Walker. Barnes has got his third basket of the night. And let's get your take, guys, and the hustle stats for USA. Phenomenal work on the defensive end so far. That stands out the most. They've made it their mission to block shots and make things hard for the opposition. Uh, another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. And, and smart ball movement there from Boncaro. That selflessness will endear him to his teammates. Here's Wagner, and finished off by Wagner. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Wagner, right side, just four to shoot. Looking to end his cold spell, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. From deep, Walker, another three for USA. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Wagner has screen on Barnes. Daniels passes to Wagner. Back to Daniels. Giddy with the screen on Barnes. Daniels. It's hauled in by USA. I mean, look, no one guarding you. It's better to not pull up and try to lead. Are we seeing some high-flying efforts tonight or what? Are we ever? I mean, they're doing some dude, damage to those rims. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Pass to Watford. And here's Wagner. The pass to Daniels. Here's Wagner. Good. Nice job down low. Wagner's got 10 points in just the second half. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. And the dunk by Walker. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Daniels passes to Wagner. A three. Good on the triple. Daniels has got five points in the quarter. Great to see a young guy play that kind of cerebral. Wagner sees a shooter and gets him set up nicely. And here's Walker outside. Offensive rebound, Mobley. Now here's Walker. Not a lot of room. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. Walker's got 60. Wow. What can you say? Here is Daniels. Guarded by Walker. Spins. 
Daniels passes to Orte. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Shots good by Walker. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are point range. Daniels kicks to Giddy. Pass to Watford. Good D by Barnes. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Downing has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and Team have taken control. World calls time here. So both teams making some here. Pretty tough stretch for them. And this will be an important possession. It's really essential. They put a stop to this run, and the best way to do it is by great execution. Here's Kaminga. Good on the three-point shot. Kaminga's got 15 points. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Up top, Walker. Defended by Kaminga. 50 seconds left here in the third quarter. Passes it to Vildoza. Pick by Kaminga. And the basket by Vildoza. Vildoza's got his second basket of the night. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Bobbed up there for Green, and it's Green with the jam. And Green doing work inside. Feels like he can score on just about anybody. 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Here now, Vildoza. Five points in the game. Good ball movement here by Team World. Clock at six. Shoots the three. And Team World, another three. Up in time. That one, no good. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. USA ahead, running away with it. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two. 